<laughs> so much. Yeah, no, like, I want to yell at Percy all the time. Like, yeah. He does dumb shit all the time. I'm like, yeah. I gotta let it happen. Gotta oh. let it happen. Yeah, he's a he's an interesting he's an interesting barrel of, of issues. He's 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 a he's a fascinating, sweet mess of a of a kid who's not as smart as he thinks he is and is in the middle of, has been basically been going through like a very intense nervous breakdown now for for a while. Kiriyama on Twitter, Kara Kiriyama. If the characters hadn't found each other and formed Vox Machina, what do you think they'd be doing instead? Hmm. Curse would be dead by now. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Keyleth might be dead. He would have. He would have walked into some stupid, and that would have been the end of him. I don't know. I, I'm. I'm. I'm split because because I love Percy, but at the same time, I understand how what a terrible person he is. On a, I know people hate it when I say that, but like. I really, I really, this, there's such an opportunity to like play to his damage and I kind of want to do that, but he's also, I love the idea of him getting a happy ending, but I also really love the idea of him not getting a happy ending, <laughs> of him doing what, what people in his position often do, which is really self-destructing on a pretty spectacular level. I'd really love to play that out. It's obvious that there's more that he's not revealing and that is incredibly enticing to her. Mysteries. You're you're very kind to me when I'm being terrible all the time. I will say like that. The Vex's character is like, why don't you just calm down? And mm. Maybe maybe slow it down a little bit. Where where you know Vex is like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> oh. There was a gun in my face, man. <laughs> um, the gun design took took quite a while, mm -hmm. but I remember we workshopping that for a while. Yeah, just like just uh, there was a lot of like no even uh, like even stupider. <laughs> <laughs> something that clearly doesn't work like right. five out of six times. Yeah. Like something that just breaks all the time. In episode three, Percy still has like plausible deniability. Oh, I'm, oh. <laughs> you know, it's like, oh. That ain't going away. You know, like he's a little angry, I guess. And then in this episode, it's like, uh, oh. oh, 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 he's a little, he's a little fucked. He, he, a little he bit fucked. he's not tracking this. No, <laughs> no. He's, no, no he, you know, not, not to, not to put too much of a British on it, but it's very like just, Repress, repress. <laughs> no, I don't think about it. Yeah. We're fine. Poor guy. Everything's yeah. fine. I can fix him. <laughs> it was, it was, oh. it was, it, he was, I, I've, I know I've said this a lot and people hate it, but I just want to like make this clear. He, uh, the, the reason I give Percy a lot of crap is because when he started building this thing and, and going on a revenge run, he was acutely aware of what he was doing. He, there, were, there was no surprise in any, like the first time he saw a gun in the wild, it wasn't, oh no, it was, Oh, that 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 went a little a little more slowly than I expected. Uh, yeah, there's there's he was expecting Ripley to have guns. He was expecting all of this to go horribly wrong because he knew it would. Yeah. And so he was like, I really want to kill these six people, and I'm excited to help thousands of other people in my lifetime die this way as well. Wow. It's worth it. Wow. Trade yeah. done. Yeah. And this was and that was the line of like, I know what I'm becoming. I know what I'm doing, and and I'm doing it anyway, even though it's really dumb. So he was wow. a pretty bad guy. He was. Yeah. yeah. What does it say about you for falling in love with him? Oh, I'd, I'd say I'd say an interesting mix for for Percy of uh, an interesting mix of self-loathing, which is definitely a big, big, big thing for him too, and the unbridled belief that his parents put into him that he's the only adult in the room. Uh, mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. someone also said, "Is it fair to call Percy the Doctor Doom of his world?" No, he is definitely the Reed Richards of of his world. And if you read Fantastic Four, you will know that Reed Richards is a terrible person. He's a terrible, terrible person. Like that. I, I was expecting Percy to end a terrible mess, and it somehow has not happened. He's actually kind of a functional human being, which was <laughs> not the plan ever, <laughs> ever. Yeah, it was a it was a wonderful emotional seesaw. Thank you for that. Delightful. Yeah. What I do? If, if if you don't have enough trauma in your real life, let me put it in your fake life. No. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> man, that's so sweet. Oh, no. God. Just tor torture my whiny little one percent. Immersion percenter, therapy. Please. That's what yeah. friends and RPGs are for, guys. <laughs> but I, I think it was there was just some time there where. As she was just a little uh, taken by the dark side. That's good. That's she wanted to fix them. Yes. Way to dodge a bullet there, actually. Yes. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty cool. He was oblivious, man. Yeah, even Tyrion fell in love with that guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Everybody loves true. Percy, and he's like the worst. Yeah. Well, <laughs> anyone ever say that humans aren't a good race to That's choose in D and D? Because you're gonna get all the folks upon you. <laughs> That's, true. That's true. Percy didn't have a fucking clue, either. <laughs>
That's funny. Last to know anything. Just a clueless teenage <laughs> asshole. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Could deal at the last minute and and sell his soul, get the punishment he felt he deserved. Uh, eventually, when death came, because even though he understood that that contract would go horribly wrong, he would had convinced himself that it didn't matter where he went when he died anyway. Yeah. And that it's not like he didn't. He 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 was of the impression I'm going somewhere awful already. Why not get something out of it? Yeah. Uh, and then, kind of once, once it, doubt crept in, and then it, it it became that that weird moment of what am I doing with my life, and why am I making all these poor decisions? Oh yeah. <laughs> and yeah, that I I was convinced that that was going to. I don't know how I lied to myself to convince myself that was going to work, but somehow it worked. It's, well, one of the best representations of these guns I've ever seen. I mean, like, I even remember having a conversation with some guy on the internet years ago who was like, I make antique, I refurbish antique guns, mm. explain to me what they are, and I did, and he was like, those are stupid and wouldn't work well. I'm like, I, I, I know, they don't. <laughs> they break well, all the time. It's, it's the first one. I mean, it's yeah, really bad. Problems. There's a reason there's only one. Well, now that you have schematics, uh, how long until you have a functioning version? They, will, they, by their very nature, are so bad that they don't. They will never work. <laughs> well, but yay, yay, probably for the best. Wheelocks are great. Probably for the best. Yeah, um, they blow up. Can we talk?